Hello and welcome back to the CAE Tech Channel. Today I'm going to show you guys how to create a new component inside of E3 series. In a previous video we showed you guys how to create a new sheet. So continuing on with that project, if we come down here into the, which is the component window, on the component tab, I'm going to scroll down until I find circuit breaker. I'm going to expand this folder and select the very first component by left clicking and dragging out onto my project window. Now if I hold down control and use my mouse wheel, that'll zoom in and out. Or I can press in my mouse wheel and circle the circuit breaker, allowing me to zoom in on the component. If I right click on the component, what I'm going to do is I'm going to come down here to device properties. And it's going to pull up this window. Now what I'm looking at inside of this window is these top three, which are identifiers. Device designation, higher level assignment, and location. Now I do not want to name this circuit breaker F1, so I'm going to give this a name of CB1 for circuit breaker 1. At the bottom, we have a ton of attributes right here. We can add attributes, which we'll show you in a later video. For now, just hit apply and OK. And you can see that my circuit breaker changed to CB1. So now I'm just going to left click it and drag it over. Down here, this is probably the catalog number for the circuit breaker. If I right click and I go to jump to device tree, you can see that this is a component placed inside of my project. So what I have is I have a component, then I have a symbol underneath, and I have six pins on this component. Now if I delete this, you can see that the component now changes to yellow, or I can drag it back out into my project. And that's how you place a component inside of E3 series.